Today, we thought we would uh, talk about a topic uh, that, you know, on the face of it, may seem kind of obvious what the answer is, and that is, what makes a great teacher? But Bartik, you were saying just before we came on, you had a kind of thought about why this is still worth talking about. Like, what, what were you... Bring us up to speed there. Yeah, I mean, you know, the brainstorming we, we had just a few minutes ago before we started, I said, you know, it's kind of obvious, like you said, right? But, but then again, how many bad teachers have you had throughout your teaching or learn, sorry, career as a learner? Loads, right? <laughs> Loads of them. Hello and welcome to another Integrated Skills Podcast. Myself and Barty are back with more tips to help you on your teaching journey. Bartek, how are you? How are things over in Thailand? Oh, good, Ferg. You're good. Good to see you. Lovely new haircut, Fergus. Well done. Try, you know, Barty, have to look the part. Have to keep up with yourself. You always have sharp haircuts, you know. Oh, no, no. Listen, I did it myself. It's ridiculous. Go on. <laughs> oh, man. Man. Well, well, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Uh, so today we thought we would uh, talk about a topic uh, that, you know, on the face of it, may seem kind of obvious what the answer is, and that is what makes a great teacher. But Bartik, you were saying just before we came on, you had kind of thought about why this is still worth talking about. Like, what, what were you... Bring us up to speed there. Yeah, I mean, you know, the brainstorming we, we had just a few minutes ago before we started, I said, you know, it's kind of obvious, like you said, right? But, but then again, how many bad teachers have you had throughout your teaching or learn, sorry, career as a learner. Loads, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loads of them. Yeah, like it's, yeah, but it's, it's, it's interesting that you do, the answer seems obvious, but yeah, we've had loads of, uh, let's say, let's be nice. Let's say forgettable teachers. Okay. Um, okay. I, I, I almost said mediocre, but no, come on, let's be honest. They were not great for whatever reasons. We're not criticizing anybody here. Not everybody's cut out to be a teacher. But the question is, how many of them you will never forget? And, and, and to be honest with you, because I have had personally, and I'm sure many of us, many of you guys would agree with me, I've had so many okay teachers. Maybe that's why I tried to do something different, because those amazing teachers, the, the, the teachers that really were unforgettable it gave me the energy and passion to to do what i'm doing now I, i'm not saying i'm a great teacher it's not up to me you would have to ask my current or former students but anyway uh we just keep on trying don't we fergus you know i i was i had a really similar thought as often i do at many of of, of the things that we talk about that yeah the answer seems obvious what could you know what would be on the list of things that make a great teacher yet as i kind of mentioned before we come on you could probably count on one hand those great teachers that stick out to you and like you know i should say as well you know that we, we, when we were thinking about putting this episode together dear viewer i don't want you to think about or we, we don't want you to think about this episode as here is the definitive list from you know the teaching bible of fergus and barty these are the things that make a great teacher the the, the approach that we're really going to take is what are the aspects that we have identified in teachers that have stood out for us that um, kind of can make them seem like a great teacher to us. It's, it's by no means a definitive list. And please do drop a comment below. Let us know what is it that when you think about the great teachers that you've had in your life, what are the things that uh, stand out to you? Now, in the face of it, this episode probably um, will speak to newer teachers, maybe a little bit more. But at the same time, as I mentioned, we'd really like to get everybody's input on what makes a great teacher. So even if you're that teacher has 10, 20, 50 years experience, please do let us know in the comments. Myself and Bartek love reading your comments and responding to them as well. 
And speaking of which, Bartek, uh, this week we got uh, quite a few comments as we've both been talking about on our recent videos. So um, that's great to see. Please do keep them coming. It, it really helps to motivate both myself and Bartek to create this content. Uh, we really enjoy doing it anyway, but it, it means all the more uh, when we see you guys engaging with it and responding to it. And Bartek, I thought um, I would uh, direct one of the questions from the comments just before we get into the teaching sure, yeah. topic, uh, just to yourself, because it came from one of your ideas. Um, I'm going to do my best to try and pronounce this person's name. I think it's Nudrat, N-U-D-R-A-T. Um, please forgive me if I'm not getting that pronunciation right. But he has this question. Um, can we use such warm up? activities during teaching practice while doing uh, the Celtic course? Uh, will it help getting pleasant feedback uh, from the colleagues? He was referring to podcast number two, uh, where, we, where you give us a whole bunch of great ideas for building rapport. So Bartek, what would you say to, to that question? Okay, could you use it on your teacher training course? I think it's a great question. And my answer is yes, absolutely. However, of course, depending on the uh, you know, your, your, your lesson objectives, uh, you know, you would really have to think about this. Obviously, your, what is your main aim and, you know, would it be appropriate uh, for, for your students and all that. But by all means, at the end of the day, you know, if you like an activity and you, sh you said you liked it and your students enjoyed it with whomever you did it, why not try it during your, your, uh, your, your, training right and see what happens i mean it's all about experimenting absolutely again as as, as almost always you you hit the nail on the head i would say bartek like it's it's about what is the aim of your lesson and i would just add one more little thing you know listen to your tutor on your course because maybe your tutor has asked you to try out this or that warmer that might be a little bit different and you know you, your first priority should be okay, if, if I'm being asked to do this or that on my training course, I, I should try and respond to what's been asked of me. But yeah, no, I 100% agree. I, I, I love the activities. I love the, you know, the show and tell and, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune. That was a lot of fun. I just enjoyed doing that myself, just yeah. for the fun of it. Um, and there was just a couple other really nice comments uh, there. Uh, people were saying that the... Uh, we had another one from Samuel Peter Norris who said, I uh, just want to say how much I enjoy the content. I'm so happy that I stumbled across your channel. Uh, keep up the great work. So that was, um, uh, you know, it, it's really, I don't know. How do you feel, Bartek, when you hear these kinds well, of Well, you know, we, we obviously appreciate those comments. That's why we keep on going. We understand that people are busy. So, you know, the minute you have two or three or five seconds to actually write something and say either thank you or just say, listen, guys, you got to work on this on that or bear that in mind, that, that's, that's why we're doing this. It's, it's, it's work in progress, guys. We're just trying the best we can, you know. Nobody's perfect. We are experimenting with a new idea and yeah, we're keeping ourselves busy. <laughs> we love projects. That's but it. it. You know, it, it, it absolutely means the world and uh, to both of us and to, to, you know, hear from people all over the world. It's, it's just so cool. You know, I, I get excited. Yes. But anyway, you know, speaking of uh, people are busy. Let's jump in uh, to the topic. So I, I'm just going to set this up like this, uh, that this is going to be an example of what's called looped input. So we're going to talk about what is a great teacher, but we're going to use an activity uh, that Bartek has prepared for us. So basically what looped input means, it means you're getting two for the price of one. You're going to hear us talking about uh, what makes a great teacher, but you're also going to see Bartek's going to be showing us yet another really great uh, way of my thought would be doing speaking activities, but Bartek, go ahead, set it up, get us going. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I mean, I'm sure uh, some of you may be familiar with this, but I love it for getting students to think about an activity and get students going. So here we go. Uh, brainstorming activity, Fergus, uh, I'm gonna share a link, or I think I've shared it with you already. Yeah. So the idea is, uh, let's think together, Okay, let's think together what makes 
a good teacher. So I'm using a Mentimeter. As you can see, all you got to do is share the link with your students or participants. Okay, and then they will see this page. Here we go. And yeah, let's do this. Fergus and I will just punch in four adjectives to describe a good teacher. Uh, like, while we're doing that, just, you know, give us a quick word on, you know, why would uh, some ideas how teachers would use this tool or this activity in a, in a regular class, just while we're putting in our adjectives? Oh, I think just because it's a, it's a great brainstorming activity and you elicit some key uh, vocabulary that you might want uh, to focus on later on. So, you know, you really kind of uh, focusing on what students already know and it makes it a lot more student-centered, yeah? All right, here we go. Let's do this. So we just write in our four adjectives. Yeah. And then we hit submit and we're going to see some yes. magic, I guess. And then there is this, let's see how, there we go. <laughs> oh, it, make, it makes a word cloud out of yeah. your words on my words. So you get all your students to do this and it'll make a word cloud out of it. Great. If you do it with many students, obviously it's constantly changing, which is fantastic. And obviously later what, what you do is you can practice the pronunciation. Uh, you know, you get students to actually say this, these words and then you elaborate, you know, you ask who wrote this? That's a fantastic word. What does it mean? I mean, it can go for as long as you like. It shouldn't take too long, actually. Well, well but, uh, how, how about we take that approach to talking about the adjectives we come up with? So I'll choose one of yours, say what I think that could mean in terms of a teacher, a great teacher, and you can confirm or add or, or say something go different. Go on. That's a good idea. So, yeah. So, um, well, the for, transparent, that's, that's a really interesting word. Um, so what I did, uh, come springs to mind is that, uh, sometimes it's a good idea to let students know at the beginning of a class, what's going to be coming up. Um, maybe that's like a very, uh, specific example and maybe not an aspect of what makes the teacher themselves, uh, great. Um, I, I sometimes said to trainee teachers as well, uh, you know, let students know a little bit about who you are. You don't have to tell them all the secrets of your life and get like uh, kind of like awkwardly open about your life. But, you know, let them know a few things about you because it helps to create rapport. I, I, am I close to what you were thinking when you come up with uh, transparent or what, what were you thinking? Yes, yes. But also there's another level to this. So actually, I, I would I totally agree with what you've said, Fergus. But yet another thing, you know, to me, transparent, and that, that come, comes from my own experience as a teacher. Uh, and obviously, there are moments for everyone, uh, no matter how much experience you have, there are moments in the classroom that were stressful. And so this is what I'm referring to. What I mean by transparent is open and honest about what you know and don't know. And, okay, it's, it's, it's quite big, guys. But, you know, to be honest with you, one of the most annoying things I found about those teachers that I have forgotten about was the fact that they could never admit to their mistakes or they always thought they knew everything. And I'm like, come on, guys, just this is this is key. You know, even when you have little experience, and I remember one of my first teaching jobs, oh my God, it was super stressful because I was green, I was young, and I ended up working with highly skilled professionals, lawyers, <laughs> CEOs, my goodness, that's where all did I be. And that was the most important lesson. I knew that I had to be honest with them. And if they didn't know the answer to the question, I said, listen, I'm really sorry. I don't know yet, but I will find out for you and I'll get back to you. And to be honest with you, this is, this is something that I've been doing throughout my whole career. And, uh, I think it's I think it's huge. I think it's essential. Maybe some of you might disagree, but you know it's it goes for a teacher, it goes for a manager or a leader. Just be honest with people. If you don't know, tell them the truth. You don't know, you will find out. And I think um, both sides of that coin that you mentioned there are essential. Like the being honest. I don't know. I will find out. And don't just say I'll find out as a soundbite. 
do find out. You must find out because yeah. he, here's the other part. You know, I, I couldn't agree with you more. And it's, you know, it, it's a huge aspect, I think, of being a, a great teacher and being transparent and honest. However, you don't want to be the teacher that every single day you're saying, I don't know. You, you want to eventually course, yeah. be able to answer their questions, you know, because, you know, and this goes back to the episode on rapport. It is a rapport building thing when you are transparent and honest. Students mm. say, OK, I can trust this person. Excuse my French again, but this teacher is not going to bullshit me. But exactly. If you are constantly saying, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know, then they're th eventually they'll start thinking, well, is this teacher prepared? So, mm, so that, that's why I'm saying do both sides. Like clearly you did do both sides. You know, you, you, you said, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know. I go and find out. And then you did find out. And, and but bring it's, that. I totally agree, Fergus. But one other thing, if at the beginning of the career you say, I'm not sure and I don't know kind of on a regular basis, then, well, you just, you're just honest about this. Listen, I've been teaching only for one or two years. <laughs> I'm doing doing the best I, I can. There, I, I don't think there is anything wrong with that. And you know, obviously, if if you're working with, uh, you know, especially adults, I think they would appreciate this. It's as you simple know, I, as this. Yeah, I, absolutely, absolutely. I, I I guess my point is make it your objective to know more and more. Um, mm. You know, and it's it's an episode that I want to do with you as well in the coming future. The idea of being a lifelong learner. I think that's a very laudable goal. However, I don't think that that's where us as teachers need to be uh, focused on remaining. Yes, we need to continue to learn to stay fresh. However, I think we need to always be aiming towards being an expert. Because right. after oh. all, learners come to us for our expertise, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, can, can we just pick one more word uh, so, so that you can elaborate on? I'm going to pick inspiring because it makes me think of being an expert. Can you tell us a little bit more, Fergus? Well, I, you know, absolutely. Um, yeah, so it, it really links uh, to, what I, to what I was uh, saying before that, you know, when a, when a person can give you not only the answer to the to your question, but you know, it's a clear answer. It's something that you can latch on to. Um, but also, they've communicated the answer in a way to you. And this is kind of, you know, it's, it's a human level thing. They've communicated it to you in a way that shows they care because uh, they want you to have the answer. It, they've com communicated it to you in a way that they were excited to see you uh, develop and, and, and uh, you know, gain the new knowledge. Um, and, you know, even something as simple as like the t tone in your voice and your body language and your facial expressions, I think, can carry a lot of that inspiration, you know, because if you're just like, you know, I'm going to make it very obvious and extreme, but if you're just like, oh, yeah, whatever, here's the answer, you know, students are going to feel that you're disinterested. But, you know, I'm not saying that you have to be doing cartwheels and jumping around, but, you know, show that you're excited, show that you're engaged, um, bring that expertise, bring that maybe a little bit of extra inside knowledge as well, you know, like, uh, this goes to the native speaker, non-native speaker uh, uh, conversation as well. Like, I'm Irish, but I live in Canada. When I'm back in Ireland, I know lots of Irish kind of phrases that I can give my students, you know, to, uh, you know, help them mingle with the Dubliners when they're on the street in Dublin, for example. You know, so all of these things go towards being an inspiring teacher, uh, which I think will, will make... Uh, would make you all that more memorable for your students in the future. All right, Fergus, just to finish off, maybe I'm just going to mention one thing. It's interesting what you said, you know, it's not about jumping around and stuff, but at the same time, it is a little bit. And I'll tell you a very quick story. I will never forget my, one of the most inspiring teachers I've ever had. You know, he taught literature in my high school. And my goodness, the passion, the energy he had, Sometimes he was almost bouncing off the walls, I swear to God. He was just, the energy, when he walked into the room, when he was really into something, into a discussion, the whole room was filled with his passion. 
and it was infectious. And, you know, you either have it or you don't. I'm not sure if you can gain it. But, yeah, I mean, you know, if you get excited about something, it just comes out naturally. So anyway, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm going to finish there, Fergus. Uh, do you have anything else to say? No, I, I, I think that that's a great point uh, to, to leave it on. And, you know, as, as I said right at the beginning of this episode, please do, you know, besides hitting that like button and the bell notification and subscribe and all of those things, please do let us know in the comments. We'd really like to know what what were some of the adjectives you would use to describe uh, the great teachers that you've had in your life. And maybe you can elaborate on it a little bit and we can get like a uh, interesting conversation going on down there. So Bartek, look, this was just a, a short one because there's so much that could be said. We just wanted to start the conversation. So, you know, thank you very much. I'll just leave it to yourself as ever just to sign off the episode and then I'll tell everybody about where they can find us online. Yeah, I just wanted to say thanks, guys. We didn't want this one to be too long. Maybe we'll come back to this and ask about other adjectives. Let's see how we go. Thanks again and uh, speak to you soon. Looking forward to those comments. Fergus, over to you. Thanks very much, everybody. Please do check us out online. You can find myself and Bartek in the usual places. Uh, Bartek's on uh, Instagram and uh, LinkedIn. Um, uh, am I forgetting one Instagram link? Facebook, yeah. Facebook yeah. as well. You can see all the links there. You can find me also on my Facebook page, um, Twitter, Instagram, and of course here on YouTube. Uh, so please do send us an email as well if you're uh, if you have any specific questions. And that's it. We will see you in the next one. Thank you very see much. See you next time. Bye. For Thanks, now. guys. Bye bye.